Hey guys, this is Ryan and uh, Aaron from Mac Kite here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Fanatic Skywing inflatable board and what it's like to travel with it. So Ryan, what, what are we going to uh, what are we going to tell people about today uh, with the Fanatic Sky Airboard? Yeah, so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the Fanatic Sky Airboard and what it's like to travel with it. Um, how how much you can fit in these bags actually. which is probably a lot yeah. yeah there is a ton of extra room i actually you can't see it right now because you're looking at the outside of the bag but i have everything that i need in here to go wing foiling yeah let's stand so, this guy up for a sec just for perspective i mean this bag is uh yeah this is the five huge five eight board very large bag um i want to say some of the smaller sizes might have a little bit smaller bag but the five eight, plenty of room for me to fit everything I needed, um, yeah. and I'll go over through, go over what is in that bag, and uh, a little bit of why I chose some of these sizes. We've got the Fanatic bag here. Uh, let me open this up for you. Actually, Aaron, if you want to help me way. on that side, oh, there yeah, are a couple buckles. of buckles uh, on nice the side. Nice big fast X buckles over and here. This just helps compact it even more. Take some of the stress off the zippers when you're really packing it tightly. Uh, once you've got those buckles off the side, we can go ahead and unzip it from each side. And I'll just right, slide it, it around way. and swing it open. So you can see right on top here, we have the wings. Now I've got two duotone yeah. unit wings. What do you got We've in got here? A six meter yeah, and a 4.5. So Perfect. I'm going on family vacation. I want to bring enough gear with me to where I can go out if it's windy. If it's too windy to do what we'd normally be doing at the yeah. beach. Um, I want to be able to take advantage of that. So. I'm, I packed up here with a quiver that's got me from about 15 to 25 miles an hour. Yeah. Not expecting anything higher than that where I was going. Uh -huh. And if it's under 15, I'm gonna be doing other stuff anyways. So. Dude, this is rad. Like this is very, uh, I mean, for the footprint that this takes up, you've got everything you need, uh, you know, two wings, board, foil set. Absolutely. Pump. Plenty of space. I could save even more space on these wings if I wanted to by taking them out of the bags packing them tighter yeah. um, you can use compression bags for that I oh yeah even, take it out of the manufacturer bag yep. yep i didn't even tighten up the buckles on this here i just packed them down how i normally would and threw it in the bag so cool. you've got even more room if you what pack else them uh, you got some more stuff and you got a couple of yeah. wings so we take these out here so i've got my impact flotation vest in here got a wetsuit keep you nice and warm out there this is a four mil so not the thinnest of wetsuits <laughs> um, I was up north in the UP so dealing with some cold water there oh yeah um, that fits pretty well got a top just in case it was a little warmer top I can throw on and then we got down to the the foil here so the foil I was riding a, an access foil here this one's about 1400 square centimeters again I wanted to cover that 15 to 25 mile an hour winds yeah. that's about the size for me to do that at my weight Perfect. Um, so got the front wing here access stuff comes all nicely nicely padded uh, wing cases got the stabilizer wing right in there with the front wing got yeah, the mask got full here. size mass uh, this wing in particular from access was a 1010 so just over 100 uh, centimeters in length so at an angle fit in this bag pretty well and then your 86 centimeter mast again fits in the bag no problem very well there you could even i mean i could i could bump it up and go with just a longer yeah. a little bit longer mast if i wanted to well i'm but. noticing as you're unpacking this like you definitely could go you could compact even more like you like you say if you if you compacted your wings down take them out of the manufacturer's bag um you know if you put your other stuff in compression bags first before you put them in here i mean there's a ton of space Oh yeah. Um, you definitely, uh, you, if you're gonna fly with this, would you be pushing the threshold of, uh, of what airlines are maybe gonna charge for, you know, oversize uh, on, on the weight? Uh, Cause you, you can get a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> this is pretty gotta be rad. careful with the weight if you're gonna fly with it. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I would do is, um, you know, make sure everything's padded really well. These cases that uh, Axis have uh, are very well padded cases, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. Maybe a little extra padding. Yeah. Maybe wrap my wetsuit around the, the front wing. Right, um, right. If I was flying with it or something like that, but everything's pretty padded. In the, the bag, is durable. yeah. This is, this is like a good half inch, three eighths yeah. uh, padding on the, on the bag exterior. And the bag does have some roller wheels down here on the bottom. Oh yeah. So if you rolling yeah. it through the airport, it is pretty easy to roll uh, on flat ground. 
Um, so if you are going to fly, make sure that you do check with your airline about their uh, oversize uh, limits and regulations in your area because I know things vary from uh, airline to airline and you don't want any surprises. So absolutely, highly portable, absolutely. but just check with your airline first. Make sure you're weighing it before you go on the trip mm -hmm. as well because that's like we're seeing here with how much space there is, it would be very easy if you were really good at compacting stuff to, <laughs> to overweight this bag. Um, so yeah, we got the 86 centimeter mass there. Now we're getting down to the board um, and just some of the, the hardware. So I've got the, the pump in here. This is the Fanatic pump that it comes with. Um, they also come with the adapters for the wing. Oh, cool. um, so you can inflate your wing with just one pump as well. Nice. Um, then I've got my Wizard Hat hardware. Uh, I chose the Wizard Hat hardware because it's the way that it inserts with the board. I don't have to worry about having too long a bolts to where it could yeah. be any sort of potential problem. Let's, uh, let's take one track. of these out of there real quick. I just want to, I'll zoom in and let uh, let people know what we're talking about when, we, when we're talking about Wizard Hat here. All right, so, so you got a flat track nut here which, with a real low profile uh, shoulder on it. And then you got a, um, Got a nut here on the top, flat portion on one side and a uh, concave on the other. Yeah, so then now we're down to the board here. Um, it does have a couple of straps just to give the board a little more security. Um, you could strap the foil part, the wings into there if you wanted, um, just to kind of hold everything together inside the bag. Um, got my leash here connected to it. Oh, you got the straps mounted to it too. Right on. Yeah, straps are mounted to it. Um, yeah, it's all good to go. You pop it out of the bag um, and you can insert the hose, start inflating the board. Yeah. Uh, they're actually not too difficult to inflate. Uh, so years ago when the whole market got into inflatable stand-up paddle boards, uh, we started selling those at the shop too. And I don't know if you remember, yeah, Aaron, oh, I they do. were- yeah. Difficult I was to inflate. They, they were they were huge. A lot a lot yeah. of volume. Yeah. But when you compact that inflatable board down to a five foot eight board, um, it just it seems yeah. to inflate a lot quicker. And what's the inflated thickness? Are you about five inches maybe on this? Um, four and a half, five, something like that. Yeah, you're right between oh, four yeah. and a half hey, and five inches yeah. thick. So That's pretty 4. cool. Four point seven is what they show this one as. So. Uh, yeah, not not terribly difficult to inflate. I did uh, inflate it for the week. We yeah, inflated. Right. Um, I actually had a place to store the wings, so I left those inflated as well. And uh, you know, good to hop out and grab a session whenever the yeah. wing popped up. It is nice. I love the fact that you've got inserts here on the back. You know, I don't know if you will. We'll try to zoom in on this for you a little bit here in some B-roll, but you can definitely see where there's you know there's inserts here uh, mounted into uh, the hard plate. Dude, so in uh, in summary, like who who is this setup for? Who is going to benefit from uh, an inflatable wingboard like uh, the Fanatic uh, Sky Air? Yeah, so really, I would say there's there's two types of people that are going to love this board. Um, the person that's traveling, obviously. Okay. If you're traveling like I was, you're going on vacation. You want to compact everything. Yeah. You don't have a lot of space, that sort of thing. The it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, obviously not quite as much performance if I was going out and doing downwinders. Um, not quite as much performance as I would get with a hardboard. Right, right. Uh, but for going out, getting a few sessions while you're on vacation, getting that water time in yeah. versus not being able to bring the gear with you. Totally. Huge difference there. Um, yeah, something something like this, uh, absolutely better than better than not. Like you say, I mean, this yes. is this is the difference between a an awesome uh, an awesome trip and then wishing that you had your gear with you. Exactly. <laughs> when you um, got there. Yeah, th this board here in particular, 120 liters, five foot eight. Yeah. Uh, I'm about 180 pounds. Yep. And it can float me plenty well standing up. Plenty Perfect. of volume to float. I actually had a couple times where I was out there. The wind completely shut off. You're still there standing. There. Not much. <laughs> still standing there, just trying to hold the the wing up, and was able to uh, just slowly move my way back towards shore. So, That's was cool. going with the the little bit bigger board than what I'm used to riding. Uh, it kept me from having to walk yeah. back up shore, right. and there are a lot of rocks there, so not having to walk that was was good. Uh, so I would definitely 
recommend if you're using it for travel purposes and especially if you're looking down to get into lighter winds yeah um, right, right. even into like that 15 mile an hour possibly if you're out there yep. uh, and you still want to take advantage of it when the wind comes down a little bit to maybe go a little bit bigger than what you would normally go with on your hardboard if you're traveling with it because yeah. Let's be honest, you're on vacation, you've got the gear with you, sure. it's windy, yeah. you get out there, it's a little less windy than what you thought. Always. <laughs> and you're having a lot more fun Always. when you're on the water riding yeah. than when you're not because Amen. you bought a little too small gear. So I love uh, it. definitely recommend going a little bit bigger than what you may think. Uh, having an inflatable leaderage, there's not quite as much swing weight up in the nose as what oh, you yeah, anticipate. Oh yeah, sure, the weight's so lighter. It does, yeah. it does feel a little bit smaller when you go to transition and turn and make your jibes and all that. So yeah. Don't be afraid to go a little bit larger with these boards. Uh, the other kind of person that's going to benefit from this, I would say anyone that's obviously limited on space, yeah. like we we're saying. Or a commuter, a so using public car, transportation. Yep. Commuter, yeah. yep. Or another thing they're really great for is for your first board. Yeah. If you're just yeah. starting out, they're soft. Does not hurt at all to fall on this thing. Right. Very soft, easy to move around. Um, good way to, once you move on to something smaller, hang on to it. Yeah. You're teaching your friends. You've got a very good beginner board to teach your friends on as well. Yeah. Plus, if you start on the inflatable board, move on to a hard board in a smaller size, and then you go on vacation. Sure, you've got it. You've already got yeah. your travel board with you. That's so, awesome. Yeah, if you're interested in checking out the Fanatic Sky Air Board, uh, give us a call in at the shop. Uh, check out our website, matkiteboarding.com. Uh, if you've got any questions about it, feel free to hit us up uh, on the phone uh, or on live chat. We're always here to, to help answer any questions you have. Uh, but like I said, these are great boards. I was really impressed with it. They've got good performance, I wouldn't say great if you're comparing it to a hard board sure but very good performance and the big thing with these is they will save your sessions i love Limited it on space you're going to be able to get out there get get your rides in yeah and, and not uh, sacrifice and not have to sacrifice exactly dude i love it thank you i'm glad you had a good time on vacation and uh guys if you have any questions like ryan said connect with us uh, also in the comments below we can get that conversation started if there's some back and forth i love hearing what other people uh that have, have used you know the products that we talk about have an experience about it post that up in the conversations and or in the comments and get a conversation going back and forth a lot of times i find out some new information from you guys when that happens which is always uh, always fun so all right hey guys thank you so much this has been ryan and aaron here at matt kite we hope to see you guys on the water